Hey you welcome back to YT Finance and this is the channel where I went to business school so you didn't need to and today we are talking about the best stocks to buy as well as the latest stock market news updates. With that being said go ahead and annihilate that like button right now, subscribe if you are new, comment down below your thoughts about any or all of these stories and with that being said let's get right into it. As you can see here the stock market has been a mixed bag recently with both positive and negative news including Nvidia falling in their share price. But that's not the only bummer because because we also see US Steel, which is currently trading for around $40.89, has recently dropped in their share price by 12.77%, and here's why. The reason why US Steel is falling in their share price is because President Joe Biden has planned a $14.9 billion sale to a Japanese company, and clearly this hurt US Steel in their respected share price. However, we are going to have a lot more bad news to go over later in this video, because today we have a lot of ups and downs that we need to go over. Another down that you need to be aware of is Adidas, which posted its first annual loss in 30 years. If you didn't know, Adidas is a sports apparel brand, and normally they have great metrics and strong fundamentals and numbers, but it seems that recently the macroeconomic headwinds is really starting to get to them. In more positive news, we have Eli Lilly, which is teaming up with Amazon, and if you didn't know, I personally hold both of these companies in my portfolio. Now, this may seem like a very strange pair, considering that Amazon is known for their e-commerce segment, while Eli Lilly is a pharmaceutical company. But nonetheless, Eli Lilly is teaming up with Amazon for home delivery of their new weight loss pharmaceutical named Zephound. This is another way that Eli Lilly is trying to get an edge over their rival named Novo Nordisk, which we talked about in our last video. Eli Lilly and Novo Nordisk are in a fierce competition over the weight loss market because Novo Nordisk has their own pharmaceutical named Ozempic and Wagovi. Only time will tell on who will reign supreme in this respected market, but you should know that I personally hold Eli Lilly, Amazon, and Novo Nordisk in my personal portfolio, but always make sure to do your own research before you make any investment decision. Next up, let's talk about Tesla, which is an electric vehicle manufacturer which also specializes in energy storage, energy generation, and artificial intelligence. So far, Tesla has been the worst performing stock in the S&P 500, and many analysts believe that this company could fall further in their respected share price. These analysts go on to say that Tesla's share price is still rather expensive when compared to their actual earnings and profits. This is why a Wells Fargo analyst actually lowered their price target for Tesla's TSLA shares from $200 down to just $125 per share, and that predicts another 25% decrease in their respected value. Meanwhile, a UBS analyst also lowered their price target for this company from $225 down to just $165 per share. However, we need to remember that Tesla is a growth company, which means that we need to discount their current valuation off of their future growth, and when we do that, Tesla is an absolutely amazing buying opportunity in my estimation. In my opinion, if you can get Tesla's TSLA shares below $185 per share, then that is a very good deal. However, again, always make sure to do your own research before you invest into any of these companies. Next up, let's talk about Boeing, which is an aircraft manufacturer that just keeps getting bad news. However, the more bad news it gets, the more I buy into this company, so let's get right into the story. Recently, a Boeing 777 was forced to make an emergency landing at Los Angeles International Airport on Wednesday due to a suspected mechanical issue. According to an American Airlines spokesperson, the pilot reported a possible mechanical issue and that's why they decided to land. However, the worst part about this is that this incident happened just days after a United Airlines plane also being a 777 had to make an emergency landing over at LAX. The reason why this flight had to stop is because they lost a tire and another flight also had to make an emergency landing also at LAX because of the problems with the plane's hydraulic system. These are just a few of the stories which has caused the share price to drop by around 27% year to date. But please remember that Boeing is still a fundamentally solid company. So when very good companies like Boeing and Tesla decide to dip in their share price pretty dramatically, this is when I I end up buying and making my large investments into these companies. Next up in the news, we have Robert Kawasaki, who is the author of a book named Rich Dad, Poor Dad. This gentleman is known for his unorthodox view of financing, and he also really enjoys gold, or what he calls God's money. The reason why he's in the news is because in a recent social media post, he warned investors that, quote, the biggest bubble in history will wipe out baby boomers because they are the first generation with flimsy 401k. 
employees. If you didn't know, a 401k is a type of retirement account that has various tax advantages to it. However, Robert Kawasaki predicts that there's going to be a potential collapse in the US dollar and of course the stock market. And according to this article, they think that he's not too far off in his prediction. In a recent study, the Center for Retirement Research at Boston College found that many younger baby boomers and subsequent generations who rely solely on 401ks risk outliving their funds. However, in my personal opinion, I think this is just an attempt to spread fear, uncertainty, and doubt within the market. As long as you are investing into safe, stable investments such as mutual funds, index funds, or ETFs such as VTI, VOO, SPY, QQQM, MTUM, and many others, your 401k should be fine, especially if you dollar cost average into these investments. However, that isn't to say that you shouldn't have some exposure to things like gold or even Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies in your portfolio as well as real estate. So remember to mix up some of your assets because it just makes you a more wealthy and well-rounded investor overall. So I'd love to hear your thoughts about this story down below. Next, let's talk about one of my favorite technology companies, which is none other than Apple, ticker symbol AAPL. The reason why Apple is in the news is because they recently acquired a Canadian artificial intelligence startup company named Darwin AI. Essentially, Apple wants to use this acquisition to compete directly with companies like Microsoft and Alphabet, which is the parent company to Google. According to my analysis, Apple has made a great decision decision by investing into Darwin AI, and here's why. Darwin AI has already worked on major products for companies which would include Audi, Intel, Nvidia, Honeywell, and Lockheed Martin. For context, I personally hold Apple, Nvidia, Honeywell, and Lockheed Martin in my personal portfolio because these are very good companies to own. Even companies like Intel talk very positively about Darwin AI because they had this to say on their website about Darwin AI, and I quote, Darwin AI integrates cutting edge technology to reduce the size of deep neural networks while increasing efficiency. The company also facilitates the ability to understand why a network makes the decisions it does, end quote. Overall, this was a very powerful move by Apple, and hopefully Apple will be able to compete within the artificial intelligence market along with the big wigs like Microsoft and Alphabet, but only time will tell. Speaking about Intel as well as Nvidia, let's talk about their top contender, which would be AMD. AMD stands for Advanced Micro Devices, and their ticker symbol is AMD, and I personally hold them in my portfolio because I really like this company, and I'm going to tell you why. AMD has played a huge role in personal computer and traditional server chips, which means that they compete directly with companies like Intel. The rivalry between AMD and Intel was essentially like Pepsi versus Coke. However, it gets even worse for AMD because they also decided to pick a fight versus Nvidia. Now, you should be aware that Nvidia has a huge AI event coming up on March 18th, where the company is anticipated to release their next generation product, which would be their B100, and that would be their first Blackwell series GPU. However, this has not scared off AMD, and many analysts are currently paying attention to AMD, and they put them in a positive light. Just listen to what this Piper Sandler analyst had to say about this company, and I quote, Historically, AMD has been a number two in pretty much every field that they have competed in, end quote. In my view, this is a huge strength for AMD, because manufacturers dislike being locked into just one vendor, and AMD is always another option. This allows other companies to have a choice between NVIDIA and even companies like Intel. Intel, and of course the next choice would be AMD. Also, sometimes companies like Nvidia can't even cover the demand that is out there for their chips, and then people are forced to buy AMD chips, so AMD still gets loads of money from this. On top of that, AMD still has great products. So it's not like they're too far behind their competition in technology, and that's why I personally hold them in my portfolio, because it doesn't matter who wins this space, I'm going to win either way by owning these companies. Speaking about technology giants, let's jump over and talk about Microsoft in regards to why their share price jumped. The reason why their share price rallied is because Microsoft recently announced their Copilot for security, which will be generally available beginning on April 1st. This will just add a new addition to Microsoft's generative AI assistance and lineup, and it will quote, help security and IT professionals catch what others miss, move faster, and strengthen team expertise, end quote. In my opinion, Microsoft was one of the first large companies to identify the power of artificial intelligence, and this has really benefited their share price. Analysts at Wells Fargo believe that this latest offering will result in incremental growth for Azure, and that would be Microsoft's cloud infrastructure service. Overall, this translates to a buy rating and a price target of $460 per share, representing around 11% upside over the next 12 months, and in my opinion, this company is a clear buying opportunity, but always make sure to do your own research. 
Next up we have Adobe, which offers a groundbreaking technology to empower everybody in regards to illustration, animation, maybe photography, graphics, and essentially just multimedia in general. Adobe recently brought in for their earnings report an adjusted earnings per share of $4.48 on sales of $5.18 billion. This actually beats Wall Street estimates because Wall Street thought the company was only going to bring in $4.38 per share, but they actually brought in $4.48 per share. Likewise, for their revenue, analysts thought this company was going to bring in $5.14 billion, but they actually brought in $5.18 billion, which is great news. However, there is one thing that investors were not excited about because for the current quarter, Adobe predicts that they will bring in an adjusted earnings per share of $4.38, which comes in line with analyst estimates. In my opinion, you should at least be grateful that they aren't going to miss estimates. And on top of that, we need to remember that Adobe announced a new $25 billion share buyback program. At least that's what the article says. So overall, this is a very fundamentally strong company in my opinion. But don't just take my word for it. According to the chief executive, they said, and I quote, Adobe drove record quarter one revenue, demonstrating a strong momentum across creative cloud, document cloud, and experience cloud. They go on to say, we have done an incredible job harnessing the power of generative AI to deliver groundbreaking innovation across our product portfolio." End quote. Overall, Adobe stock has an IBD composite rating of 85 out of 99, and that's why this is a pretty strong company. So I would recommend you look further into this company if you want to add them to your portfolio. Now let's talk about SoundHound AI, which has been a huge AI stock that many people like to talk about. So let's talk about them. Their ticker symbol is S-O-U-N, and this company is an artificial intelligence systems developer, which recently soared by 15.5% in their share price. But after surging, they actually dropped in their share price by around 5.7%. So what's the deal with this company right now, and why is their share price so volatile? The surprising thing is that the company didn't make any announcements that would initiate such a gain and then a subsequent sell-off. So right now, investors, including myself, are kind of just scratching our heads about this anomaly. Overall, you should know that SoundHound AI is extremely volatile. They are easily the riskiest company in this particular news update, which is why you really need to do your own research. There are plenty of other other AI companies that are better than SoundHound in my opinion. However, SoundHound does have a lot of upside if everything works out for them. However, we're just going to have to wait and see what's in store for this particular company. And with that being said, go ahead and annihilate that like button right now. Subscribe if you are new. Comment down below your thoughts about any or all of these stories. With that being said, I will see you in the next YT video.